Would Kaseya be a ransomware supply chain attack then? I think if you could call that one, yeah. Yeah, yeah because they, they obviously went upstream and you know, they, they, among other things, it was used for ransomware. Supply chain attacks are a way that an adversary doesn't go directly at their intended target, they go upstream. Usually this will be through some kind of software provider that their, their victims, their intended victims, would eventually use. This might be a library, this might be management tools, this might be a whole variety of different software, but instead of going directly at the target, they're then going to be able to compromise lots of different targets, essentially anyone who uses that compromised software package or library. Supply chain attacks can also be used for a variety of different end goals. This might be used for simply surveilling a target. It could be used for deploying additional malicious capabilities, potentially including ransomware, where when they gain access to the large number of customers of whoever they have compromised as the upstream provider, they can then make the decision on exactly how they're going to execute the next phases of their operation. So if they're deploying ransomware, that means they're gonna now start encrypting the content. If they're going to deploy other malicious content as well, that's gonna allow them the access that they need in order to do that. So there's nothing about the ransomware attack itself that's really closely related to the supply chain part of it, but typically uh, an adversary will compromise something in the supply chain, whether it's hardware or an open source software tool, you know, it could be a wide, wide variety of things. Uh, and that supply chain is kind of the initial access mechanism that then the adversary uses to, you know, move laterally if they need to, stage all these machines for ransomware and ultimately encrypt them.